is up guys let's start this video properly with a bit of noise you join me in the ferrari obviously you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail of this video i've got three euros in my hand because i'm arriving as a toll charge i'm dropping off my car at a garage but we'll we'll get to all of that in a second probably wondering oh no what's he going to talk about in this video i'm basically going to give you a run through of all of the little maintenance things i've had to do on this car since owning it i got it in late november on my birthday 22nd of november yeah it was the ultimate birthday gift to myself that was anyway that was a great day the video is going to be somewhere around so this car has surprised me by i've actually had to do quite a bit more maintenance than i thought little things nothing major touch wood and every time i thought it's not quite enough to make a video you know out of it like what am i gonna talk about so i thought i'd just do one video talking about all of it at once anyways wait arrivederci to you too my darling I didn't feel like it was worth a, a whole video. So when I bought this car, I made sure, you know, obviously it's, it's, it was the biggest purchase and still is the biggest purchase I've ever made. I wanted it to be top notch. So brakes, brand new brakes on this one, 5% wear on the brakes, 5% wear on the clutch. Her car was in spit spot condition, all good. I get the car, drive it around, no problems at all. Then bit by bit, a few, things start happening. So example, I started to notice uh, the Alcantara was coming unglued in different areas around the cabin of the car. So I had to go in and take it in for a service anyways. Mentioned it to the guys at Ferrari who told me, look, this is completely normal. It happens on 599, GTOs, Scuderias, Challenge Stradales, all the older Ferraris. It just by nature of them being slightly older, things start coming unglued. Um, Haven't had the 
issue again, nothing to worry about. So that's fantastic. Then, a month afterwards, I am driving the car and I start hearing a tuk 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 noise around front. Now I've been told that because of the exhaust on this thing and how kind of race car-ish and rugged these are, they shake their own, it shakes its own nuts and bolts off basically. So you need to go in and get it checked every once in a while. So I figured that's maybe what it is. Back to Ferrari. They check all of the, well they actually lift the car up on the spot. I mean again, they were incredible because they took the car and instantly lifted it up in half an hour I was on the road again. Didn't charge me a cent for it. Lift the car up and notice that there isn't just one screw that's come untied. There's like 10. So apparently that's something I need to just keep checking because of the vibrations in this thing. It unscrews its own screws. Okay. So there was a screw loose on the diffuser. I mean nothing bad like I hadn't led to anything and the only thing that was unscrewed and kind of hitting a little bit is an aftermarket, aftermarket uh, splitter protection. So something that's literally just there to protect the front of the car anyways. Um, so nothing bad at all came out of that. Then we noticed while looking around the car that the front headlights were kind of crackling a little bit. So I asked the guy, you know, and he says, look, again, this is one of those things that all the Ferraris do with humidity. The front headlights start crackling after a while. And actually it happens not after, you know, 10 years. It happens after a year or, or something. So I asked him how much to replace and it was something ludicrous. I can't remember, but like something like 3,000 a headlight because it's all one piece carbon fiber. Bill. Let's put because there's no point in doing it and the guy told me it's gonna come back anyways You could replace them and it's gonna come back in like six months So I decided not to replace the front headlights and we put a black tint on the front headlights Which actually means you cannot see the crackling at all anymore And since he's told me that I've seen like a Fabian and GTO another Scud and I've gone up and looked and they all seem to have it So it seems to just be a normal thing and you just have to accept it But the front tint's gonna get rid of them Anywho this, why am I telling you all of this? Because I feel whenever I've been watching videos on Ferraris or when I looked at getting this car, all these maintenance videos, they didn't really tell me about all the little day-to-day -day things you need to take care of. So I really just wanted to share, I mean it's nothing bad at all, it's completely normal that you have these things on these cars and I'm just, as I said, super OCD with wanting the car to be in like tip-top condition at all times, ready to go to the Nürburgring and get absolutely spanked wanted to so maybe that's just me but the conclusion is I've been spending you know this car's been to the Ferrari garage for nothing serious and I've, I've only come out paying 1500 euros out of all of it but it's been what five six times to the Ferrari garage since I've had it in November so I just wanted to share that with you and share the the truth of what it is to own one of these cars because whilst they are incredible they are also a little bit more fragile than other cars, especially the slightly older ones like this, a challenge to Dali, uh, 599 Scooter, uh, 599 Scooter, 599 GTO. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make a video running through all of the little things that I've had to do to the car and hope it interests you. So that's pretty much it, touch wood. I mean, all that to say, I don't want to sound like the guy who's just complaining, complaining, complaining. I love this car and it's unbelievable and you can tell I'm driving it now, it's running perfectly and it's it's um, it's a machine created by God himself. So I love it, but the reality of it is it needs a little bit more pampering and a little bit of touching here and there to make sure it's going well. And that's the reality of the situation. Nothing wrong with it, but why not share it with the community? Right, I've arrived, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe. That would be absolutely lovely. Join me with plenty more adventures. Hopefully this is the last video of this type that we're gonna have to make. And thank you very much for your support. Please subscribe. See you soon, guys.